Hello and welcome back to another RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to customize your UI, title, menu, and all of that. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are in the tutorial project. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to skip the title screen. So when you're playtesting, it's so much easier. Just go to the options right here under initial settings and click on skip title screen. And now when you play test, you will skip the title screen and go straight to the game. All right, so just wanted to throw that one out right away. So now let's move on to the UI, how to change your UI. And it's all done in these initial settings here. You can just kind of go piece by piece, but I'll just kind of show you some of this as well. So the first thing we can start with is the title. We want to change the title around. So we can go up to the title and we can say, hey, this is actually called a tutorial project. And then if we wanted to, we could move the title around like that. Um, you can change a font. You can search the font if you know it. So let's pick like a sans font and I'll just do this one, see what this looks like. Now these are going off the system fonts. So if you do have a particular font that you want, you can install it onto your system and then you'll be able to use it. So let's do like italic just to see that it does the italic. Um, maybe not that one's a good one, but uh, let's just try this one. Oh yeah, this one looks good. Then we can adjust the size here. So let's go 250 and then we can change the color. So let's pick a, a bluish. Well, that doesn't go well, does it? Pick like an orange. There we go. Something like that. Now you can also use an image for your, if you have words as an image, and you can also do that right here. And then the title backgrounds, you can pick from some that they already have. So we could load up this one if we wanted. You could also import one as well. So if you have one, you can import one and boom, you've got it. So, and then it will be in your selections. So then moving on to the decoration here, you can see that we can select from a few different decorations, and then it will load them up accordingly. Um, you can also import, this is probably where you would port, import a blank one to get this off, because I didn't see a none option here. So unless there is another option here I might have missed, we'll find out. You can adjust the size however you want. You can say whether you want certain options or uh, not to continue here if everything's a new game in your particular game or, or however that is. Uh, do note that there's a font setting right here for your main title. There's a font setting right here for your words. And then there's gonna be some other font uh, setting areas. So pay attention that there is a couple areas. So you have one font you want for everything, which probably wouldn't be for the title as well, but maybe um, just, Keep track as we're going through these to see how many spots there are. There's only, I'd say, several, several spots. So yeah, then um, once you set these for the option text, then you're pretty much done as far as title screen goes. This is pretty much it, and you can start to uh, see it. All right, so this leads us to the next UI settings. These are the main ones, and these also will still affect the title screen somewhat. As far as these, this box right here, the buttons and the highlight portion, goes this will start to affect these and these are found in the shared settings so over here you can see that you have uh, this preview of your um, menu and over here you can change all these things in the preview now the first thing that you want to do is select your pattern of menu to display so this one is the portrait pattern and then you can also flip it and if you flip it I think it puts the um, this one's not a very good example because it doesn't really do anything on this one. But if you go to another one, like a basic, you can see that it uses this kind of a setup. And then if you click flip, it's going to put this menu over here. This is kind of similar to the older RPG makers, if I remember correctly, like the MV and, and those ones. So that flip works on basic, and then flip also works on simple. So simple is going to be a different design as well. And then you can flip it, and actually flip might not work on this one either. Nope, so flip only works on the basic one, all right? So let's just go to the portrait mode. And then, uh, and flip might affect the certain setups like this. So for example, item, not that might not be a good one. Let's just say skills right here. Let's go to flip and then let's go down back down to skills. And so yeah, it does, it does affect. So my bad, it just wasn't affecting the, the main. So that, that's good to know. Now we can come back up to shared here. I'm gonna click that off. 
you can see we also have options on what kind of things do we show. Right now we're showing the picture or the bust. And just so you know that these are found right here. So if you click on a character, you can see that you can upload a bust or a picture and the face icon of this character. And so if you're, and then here's the field icon, obviously. So if you're using a picture, it's gonna show this one. If you're using a face option, it's gonna show this one. And if you're using the field option, it's gonna show this one. If you go back up to shared settings here, you can see we can use the face icon. And this will all update real time. That's one nice thing about this. Uh, and then field icon, picture, and then none. All right, so we have all those options. So I'm just gonna use the picture, just the normal one. And then we can come down here and we can see some options that we have. So here's another area that you would set your font. So this font is going to be the uh, font that you see around here. And then you can see that we have uh, the background color settings and you can display a background image. So if you wanted to, you could display a background image. Um, there's also this one that comes by default. And it's more like a transparent kind of background. And so you can basically do this with everything. The window background settings, you can change the colors. You can have it be an image. Again, you, with the window frame, you can do the color or the image. This is the uh, window frames that you can choose from. So you can just quite simply click one right here and it changes. Um, then there's the highlight color that you can do. The background buttons, you can do an image or a color. And then the frame settings. And then this highlight, another highlight thing. So you can do all of these. If you do want to mess around and make your own frame, for example, you can always go to the project file or folder. So let's go to tutorial, assets, RPG maker, storage, images, UI, and then you'll have some of these for, let's just say the button. And then you can see that Here's all your buttons. Here's the windows, the different windows that you can do. And then you can just plop them open in your image editor. You can uh, edit them however you want and then put them back in this folder. And then, or actually you could probably just import them. Actually, it'd probably be easier. Just click import right here. And then boom, you could import it from right there. All right, so these are the shared settings. These are going to be affecting all of the game menus as well as parts of the title screen. Like I said, see how we changed the background border of the window and it changed this part of the title screen. So do note, this does change a little bit of that. And so now we can go to the main menu here and we can see that we can select to not show certain parts. So if we don't want this options menu, we can click that off and it will take that off and it will adjust accordingly. Um, exit game, I would not recommend. So let's put these back on. So pretty much this is, I mean, I, maybe you might have a game that's items only, right? And so you would have something like this, maybe items, options, save, something like that. I could see that, I guess. And so then we can come down to options here and we can see what we want to show. So if we don't want to show key items, we won't show the key items part. And you kind of get the, the gist. You can just show what you want and what you don't want. And then it's previewed to show you an example of what the buttons will look like on there. You could go to skills here. Notice there's no, nothing you can really change on the skills, just pretty generic. The equipment, same thing, but at least you get a preview it. Uh, status, nothing to change. Formation, nothing to change. Uh, no options. And basically that's it. So you only get to change first couple things here, but yeah, at least you can preview it and see what it will look like. All right, so then the battle menu kind of got a similar thing where you can if you want to show the HP, that you don't have TP, you just have MP, you can just show that. Um, they do have it set up to do HP, MP, and uh, TP. And then you got your uh, dialog boxes here. So you can kind of set these up how you want. Now notice that there is font specifically for dialog. So you have your menu font, your title font, and then you have some dialog kind of fonts. So you can change your uh, font type right here. This is for the uh, name, and then this one's for the actual font. You can preview what the pictures are gonna look like. So this is what the bus is gonna look like on here. You can, this is what the face is gonna look like. And then this is if nothing, that's what it will look like. You can also see if no name box or not. You can just 
view these certain things. Again, these are just for viewing on how they will look with the font, basically. And then choice, choices, you got the same thing. You just can choose the font for the choices. So just note that these two are separately. So there's about five places so far that you got to worry about your font. And then uh, numerical, you can put the origin in these different uh, sections right here. Here's the bottom right, top right, bottom right, center. And then here's that one right there. So let's just do center. You can also custom position it accordingly. And then again, another font. So this one requires a font. And then uh, item selection, you can just put this wherever you want on the top, bottom, middle. And then it requires a font as well. So there's about 10 spots, I believe, maybe eight, that where you are required to put the fonts. So that pretty much does it for all the UI settings in RPG Maker Unite. If you have any questions, you can comment below. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.